Jocko Willink, The Dichotomy of Leadership, Balancing the Challenges of Extreme Ownership to Lead and Win. Embark on a journey to discover powerful leadership insights through the eyes of authors Jocko Willink and Leif Babin, who draw on their experiences as Navy SEAL commanders. The Dichotomy of Leadership, Balancing the Challenges of Extreme Ownership to Lead and Win, uncovers the delicate balance leaders must achieve between the welfare of their team members and the overarching success of the team as a whole. Navigate through various situations, from military missions in Iraq to corporate dilemmas, as the authors shed light on the lessons learned and their implications for leaders in all facets of life. The Ultimate Dichotomy of Leadership The Ultimate Dichotomy of Leadership is a book co-authored by Jocko Willink and Leif Babin, which explores the dilemma of taking care of your team members while placing them in harm's way for the good of the team. The authors draw on their experience as Navy SEALs in Ramadi, Iraq, where they had to make tough decisions that would impact their teams, both in life and death situations. The book illustrates this dichotomy in leadership and how it is applicable in various contexts, including business. Willink's experience as a leadership consultant helped him convince a regional manager of a struggling mining company to lay off 80 employees to cut costs. The lesson learned in Ramadi was that sometimes taking risks is necessary for the greater good. Success in leadership requires recognizing this dichotomy, even in difficult situations. The Importance of Strategic Leadership Capital A fascinating insight into the significance of spending leadership capital wisely, based on real-life incidents during military and business operations. Jocko Willink's book, Extreme Ownership, showcases the meaning of responsible leadership, highlighting the importance of spending leadership capital strategically. Through real-life stories during military operations in Iraq, Willink explains how he learned to save leadership capital for situations that require it. In one story, he orders his task unit, including Jason Babin, to reprogram their SEAL radios to Army wavelengths. They don't understand the importance, but he makes sure they all learn anyway. Months later, this skill saves Babin's life in a friendly fire incident. Willink also demonstrates how he spends his leadership capital wisely. In another incident, he ordered the removal of unprofessional patches from his unit's uniforms. However, when they made a less crude patch, he let it slide, showing that bending the rules can aid morale. The importance of spending leadership capital wisely transcends the military world and applies equally to business. A particular VP, annoyed by departmental leaders who were always on their phones during meetings, banned phones from the meetings. Later, he realized this was a minor issue compared to the departmental leaders' disregard for the company's standard operating procedures. In conclusion, the essence of strategic leadership is learning how to use your leadership capital intelligently. The military world offers invaluable lessons on this, which can be transferred across the board to any organization where leaders must make critical decisions that impact their team's morale and success. Empowering through accountability Willink shares his experiences leading a platoon in Baghdad and consulting a company to explain how micromanagement does not lead to accountability. Instead, leaders should empower individuals by explaining the why behind tasks. By doing so, employees become accountable to themselves, leading to better results and a culture of accountability. This approach applied to a company that was facing resistance to new data entry software, resulting in useless information. Willink suggested motivating the technicians by explaining how the software would improve service, thereby increasing revenue and generating career growth prospects for them. Being a leader means being a follower. The book advocates that effective leadership involves following others as well as leading. It uses two stories to illustrate that sometimes, what is best for a team is to submit to the authority of others, even if it seems unjust. The author argues that in both military and business contexts, leaders must put their own authority aside and follow others for the team's success. It encourages leaders to take an unselfish approach to ensure they are not blinded by their perspective and highlights the importance of putting the team first. The Importance of Balanced Planning 
the book recounts a special operations mission in the dangerous city of Ramadi in 2006. The special ops team had no contingency plan for the high-risk mission, which led to the failure of the operation. The lack of planning resulted in the vehicle being blown up by an improvised explosive device, IED, and severe injuries to the team. The author learned that overplanning can be dangerous as much as inadequate planning. It is crucial to take into account the most likely contingencies and worst-case scenarios while striking a balance in planning operations. Babin advises leaders to plan for only three or four potential issues to avoid spreading yourself thin. Communication and sharing the contingency planning information with your team is equally essential in achieving a successful mission. Big Picture Thinking In the book, Extreme Ownership, the author Jocko Willink shares a story of how his platoon leader, Babin, learned the importance of big picture thinking in the military and how it translates to the business world. Babin's initial obsession with details delayed a vital mission until Willink stepped in, highlighting the wider significance and boosting the platoon's morale. Babin's subsequent detachment from minor details helped him notice a mistake made by an Iraqi soldier, preventing innocent casualties. The lesson here is that leaders must step back from the daily grind to see the long-term strategy and the bigger picture. This can be achieved through taking time off for self-reflection and leadership retreats. In conclusion, the dichotomy of leadership emphasizes the importance of striking a balance in various aspects of leadership. Whether it's maintaining team welfare while pursuing success, spending leadership capital wisely, understanding when to follow, or looking at the bigger picture. These paramount insights provide valuable guidance for individuals in leadership roles, regardless of their background or industry. As you turn the final page of the book, remember that the key to inspiring, empowering, and guiding others lies in understanding and embracing these nuanced, yet essential, dichotomies in leadership.